Last time out, we hadn't had the rest of the start of the season, and this time out, we managed to get rid of Jamie Patterson from the team. I managed to convince him to do a mutual termination because I signed two players since we last met, and one of them literally calls him to worry about his spot on the team, and I kind of took advantage of that and decided to get rid of him to get the 5.5 grand a week of his wages off our books. And given he's not really good enough for what I'm looking for or the kind of player I want, I had to take full advantage of the situation. But who on earth did I sign after the transfer window had ended to cause him to be concerned about his first team place? Surprisingly enough, that person was Leighton Clarkson and he was the first of two players we signed. We managed to get him to sign for us on a free transfer and on 2.3 grand a week. I don't know how we pulled this off, but we did and I'm not upset in the slightest. We are using him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, which, yes, I know, not his best role, but he's quite good at it. And I thought it made more sense to do that 100%. He could be a deep line playmaker as well in the DM position, but he's just really good. Really exciting to young talent. Already worth a lot of money as well. So if for whatever reason we couldn't keep hold of him, we could definitely send him for good money. And then we managed to get our new star signing, Bellingham. And I don't know how we managed to convince him to sign for us for just £2,000 a week when Chelsea at the time were interested. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a massive coup to say the least. In fact... Birmingham barely played him in the last couple of years. He was actually at Birmingham and then he just got released for whatever reason. He was available on a free transfer and either they just got rid of him because they didn't think he was good enough or he wanted to leave and he got out of his contract, but he was available on a free transfer. We picked him up and for whatever reason, we've got Bellingham at our club. It's a massive, massive coup as far as I'm concerned. A League One quality player, just like Clarkson is, and he's just really good. He does have a release clause of 475000 but given we're paying nothing to bring him into the club, that's all worth it as far as I'm concerned. And it's a massive, massive victory. Also, Lewis Baines is now out on loan at Eastley, and we bought a player from Eastley. They're loading a player for us now, so yeah, I might put on the transfer list because I didn't want him because I didn't think he was good enough. And Eastley said, Can we have him? I said, Yes, he's now there. Speaking of Eastley, they're coming in 15th place after we took their best player, but it is what it is. And speaking of their division, actually, Brackley are in the relegation zone right now, so maybe we made the right call to leave them, but it does sadden me to uh, see him down there, so I really hope they do better sooner rather than later. But We've had a lot of games since we last met. Let's go over our matches now. So the first game we had since we last met was actually against Mansfield in the league and we were down behind inside two minutes and we equalised in the 93rd minute of the game. Max Taylor scored the goal for us and we rescued a point. So at least we didn't lose, though I will say we should have won this game personally myself, but they had the better chances on average than we did, so maybe just the team not really gelling just yet. And this is before we bought our two new cinema field partnership of Clarkson and Bellingham. And then we took and Carlisle and lost 1-0. And I think this was the last match we had before we were able to bring in both Clarkson and Bellingham into the team. So this was a game that really told me that I needed to improve the team. We lost by goals nil, the only shot on target. And it just was not ideal to say the least. Then we took on Swindon Town and beat them by two goals to one. And this was a performance I was happy with, especially when we came from behind and scored a 95th minute winner from the penalty spot. And before that penalty, I don't think we were really the better team, but we got the win either way. Adams and Wibbia both get their first ever goals and Wibbia's free kick was actually quite nice. We then took on Rochdale, and this is the first time we played both Bellingham and Clarkson in midfield. And I like to think that our midfield is probably the best midfield in the entire division now. And we didn't win because Rochdale scored their only shot on target again. We seem to do this a lot. Like, we've got really good talent. Ward should be a League One player who should be doing best in defensively in the keeping side of things. But our back line just doesn't seem to always click 
like I think it should. And we were unfortunate not to get a win here when we were the better team. But if you look at XG, none of our charts are really that good. Whereas theirs was really good because they almost maxed our XG despite having 11 less shots. So it is frustrating. We then took on crew and Mother still gets his first ever goal for the club. And really happy with this performance because we were not the better team at times. And that was our only shot on target as well. So maybe, just maybe I should be grateful for the fact I didn't lose this match. We then took a Portsmouth in the EFL Trophy and lost by a goal to nil. I only made one substitute because I kind of got distracted by something else that was happening. But yeah, not our best moment. We had an XG of 0.15 with five shots. So we probably deserve to lose this game. And also Portsmouth are in League One. So they're probably better than us anyway, let's be honest. But then we took on Chesterfield and beat them by goal to nil. Two of our former players are playing for Chesterfield at this point, and we beat them. So there's, uh, in fact, Omar started for them. He looks better now, but I wouldn't sign him either way. And yeah, we got a goal. We won the game, and Mitchell gets the only goal of the game after Jackson plays him in. So really good goal, really good result for us, and we get all three points in the league. We then took an extra city and they are quite good, I've noted and realizing here because they've got a very good team. I feel very lucky to have gotten a point in this match, to be completely honest with you. And the chance they had very late on or at the middle of the second half was quite good. Morgan getting a goal though is good because he's not really been scoring many goals. And I think what we're lacking right now is a, good, a clinical striker and just a better defense. If we have a good striker who could score like every single week, we would be probably doing much better than we are. But they were really good in this game and they actually showed that they really should have won this game. We then took on Accrington Stanley and won by two goals to one. Yes, they got a goal late on, but we dominated this game and we definitely should have done better. If we get the goals that we should be looking at and doing more with, then we should be doing much better. But a 2-1 victory against Accrington Stanley... A good performance to say the least. We followed that up with a 1-0 win against Cambridge United to win our second game in a row. I think for the very first time this season in the league. So happy days that we've got a victory here. And I feel disappointed with the fact it's taken so long, like October, to get two wins in a row. But we did. And it's happened. So even better that we're starting to perform now in these circumstances. And then the last game we had was against Doncaster Rovers. And we won by three goals to nil. More Taylor, Morgan and Benningham all scoring goals for us and it gives me hope that we can be very good on our day and if this is anything to go by, this might be what we're waiting for and it's this kind of performance that I think can unlock good things for us in the future. Still in the league, we are currently in 8th place but we have 2 games in hand on Mansfield who just went above us because they've literally just played and they literally just won against Howgate Town who suddenly don't look very good after they beat us very early on. So their season's come on done. We've recovered and we're actually only five points off all domestic promotion right now. So that dream is still alive. Notts County have played an extra game. I don't know when they played it. So Notts County got crew today. And I think that if we win our game today, we will definitely be in the playoffs. And we could actually go as high as fifth potentially. If Bristol Rovers don't do well against Cambridge, which I would honestly expect them to do well against Cambridge, but Carlisle have a game in hand on us, but they don't have to play that. They just played their game last time out. They drew against Watchdale, so that's really good. Rexon are in fourth, and we're only four points off them with two games in hand. So I'm starting to look at this and think we can actually catch some teams. So if we continue to win again today, that'll be, what, four wins in a row? And we'll be starting to do what we did with Brackley and start to perform really well. Notts County are running away with the league this year. And Wimbledon are not doing too badly either. So I think third place is a realistic target right now. We just need to make sure we continue to thrive and do better things. But yeah, this is our game. Bradford City. They are down in 12, so they're not a bad team. And I would expect them to do good, good things. We just need to make sure we do more and more, you know? But this is our team, and I've had to rotate a little bit because of fitness concerns. And we've got Stead, who is not really getting as much game time as he has been before because of people just being better than him now and coming into the first team. And I've got a lot of options right now to really play with in midfield and attack. So our entire back line is pretty much 
set it apart for maybe one or two players. And yeah, it's exciting times for us. Nelson and Stead, I'm probably going to send back at some point to their parent clubs when their loans expire. Stuart, I think I'm going to send back as well. I haven't been that impressed of him, despite the fact he's got the attributes to do good stuff. But I don't know, he's just not really been impressing me that much. But he starts the day of away, even though he's not been amazing. And actually, no, I'm going to deny that. That's going to be Morgan will start. So... If we have our best 11, which is Benningham here, we'll be all looking very good. But Benningham's actually slightly tired, so I'm going to have to rest him for this game for Stead, who does need some first-team football anyway, because he's starting to get a bit upset with his lack of first-team football. Does he have a... His contract is at the, until the end of the season anyway. So I think we'll end his loan in January. Or if they want to end his loan, I'll send him back to him anyway. But yeah, I didn't realise I could get Benningham and Clarkson. So... I probably would not assign Stead if I knew that otherwise, but we've got options here. With Biel has been good this year, we might keep him on for the rest of the season as well. But I am going to put him down onto the bench for Makoma to start today because we need to give some players rests and rotate the squad a little bit more. Mother still has been disappointing though. And I'm actually going to bring Phillips in for him because Phillips is so useful with the fact he can play in so many positions. So I can just do that if I need to. I think lack of strength, lack of depth, I think right back and left back are two positions I am concerned about our strength and depth right now. So I need to get another left back in the January window. Same with right back, if I'm honest. But apart from that, and maybe one of the wings, I could do more. I might need to get another striker actually as well. But right now, we got options. Morgan definitely needs to... Actually, Morgan's still at the end of the season, so I don't need to worry about Morgan being replaced. So I think Morgan being until the end of the season is good. We just need to make sure we can rotate the squad and keep things going. But either way, let's see how we do against Bradford City at their ground. So they're actually on top right now, Bradford, which is a bit disappointing because I thought we'd be doing better than this. But with two games in hand, we do have options. And they just put it wide on Evers, who is very, very good, actually, Evers. So, yeah. I'm actually hanging with the team right now, and... They've either been overwhelmed or pressured by the feedback that I've sent, which I think is disappointing, but I think, if anything, it might convince him to do better. But Clarkson has shot blocked. He finds O'Keefe now. Apparently, some of them are upset with my team selection, which I'm trying to rotate, so I can't really do much about that. But here's Mitchell anyway. O'Keefe plays the ball. Oh, my God, what the keeper's doing? Morgan should score that. I don't know how he's not scored that, but the keeper's out of position so bad that it's ridiculous. And apparently the Harlot's not over yet. But we really should have scored there. And Ease finds Warburton. Who I thought was going to go for goal. His Chapman now. Southern Hales. And that is terrible. I've gone to a more positive approach. Which has immediately resulted in a Harlot for Bradford City. If I concede now. Then I'm just going to change it back to balance. And there's their shot was blocked. But here's Mitchell now. We are so congested. It's ridiculous. Morgan's offside. So he can't really go for that. But we're going to get the ball in anyway. Here's Clarks. No, Mitchell. No, Clarks is on the ball. Clarks can play in the middle. All plays about to Keith. Here's Macoma. Now Stead. Glenn Stead. Off the post. Could have been a goal. Okay. So half time. Nil nil. I do feel slightly disappointed with, them, with the fact we're not winning. But I am rotating the side a little bit to be fair. So it's not much I can do. Bristol Rovers are winning though. So that's also not ideal for us. And we need to win here to really keep the pressure up on the top three positions. If we draw here and Bristol Rovers win, then it's not ideal at all. And Notts County also beating Crew, so yeah. I think Notts County are going to win the league this year. I'm, it's just a hunch. Okay, Clarkson's got a free kick. He shouldn't go for goal. He doesn't, thankfully. But Casey's going to get the ball back after it's cleared away. Here's Macoma now. Here's Clarkson. Finds Taylor, can play out wide, finds more Taylor, who plays it in the middle. Mother still trying to get to that, he doesn't. We've made our five substitutes. And uh, O'Keefe now, Macoma, Clarkson, Macoma now, Casey, Taylor. It's a team that I think should be winning here. Here's Benningham, who's come off the bench. Now Swan finds Stewart, and Stewart finds the back end in there. That isn't his first of the season, no. He's offside, though, which is a shame, because I thought he would be onside, but it's really well worked, though, and... Oh, if only he's on side. He's got the entire game goal for himself. And now, 
another highlight, and we are looking better now. Warburton doesn't get to that, but we're going to get the ball back anyway now. Here's Clarkson, finds Swan, has to play it back to Casey, but we are looking good. Swan finds Benningham. Oh, well, Baltimore Mother still surely scores it, and he does. It's it's his first, it's his second of the season. It's one nil the night. This is brilliant. We brought Benningham on for the bench, and he's delivered big time. I love this team right now, and we've still got McCann as well, which is the scary part. We've got McCann, who, if he decides to stop being a stroppy little brat, we can bring him into the team as well. And now they've got. A Goal kick again. We have been really good for dealing with their goal kicks. Right? Oh my god, Casey. What have you done? I'm so happy they missed that. But that's bad. Corner to us. Clarkson to take the corner. And Taylor gets there first. It's so. Max Taylor scores. We're going to win this game. And this is my forest green team that I built. That I've put together. And it's so exciting. Most of the team that you've seen on the pitch right now. apart Actually, apart from one player. And maybe two players. This is entirely my team at this point, and we're looking so, so good. Really happy with the game, really happy with the performance, and that's another three points. It may have taken us a while to get going this year, but we are now very much in the promotion hunt, and Bristol Rovers did not win. Cambridge got a late equaliser, and we're up to fifth now, two points away from Carlisle, who have played the same amount of games as us, but we've got a game in hand on Rexon. And suddenly, we're looking like a team that should be challenging for the automatic promotion spots. Hopefully, we can. But yes, now that we've done that, I'm feeling more confident in my ability to get this team over the line. And this feels like my Brackley side now, in a way, that we started off slowly, but eventually spelt up a good run of form and were able to go further and further up the table. I'm hoping that we can change Notts County for the title eventually, but it's ambitious, I know, but I doubt it will happen. They do have, they have played a game more than we have, so if we win, we're 10 points behind them. But I like to think we can catch up to um, Notts County at some point if they start to drop off, because they will drop off. It's just a matter of when, not if they do. But either way, though, I am going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video, and that you'll subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.